So now we're going to transition over to some student and teacher profiles from people here at Creek. We're going to start off with an interview from one of Creek's very own football players, Hunter Frick. Hello, I'm James Rose and I'm a Bright House varsity reporter. Today I'm going to be sitting down with Hunter Frick as we talk about his Spruce Creek football experiences, goals, and career. So what positions do you exactly play? I play wide receiver on offense and safety on defense. So you play both sides of the ball, offense and defense. Does that ever get challenging at times? I would say it gets more challenging in practice than in the actual game because, you know, like I'll condition a lot harder. Um, I run a lot more in practice and stuff like that, so I can be ready in the game to play both ways and play the whole game. What's your Spruce Creek football experience been like? Um, it's been kind of up and down. My sophomore year, which was my first year on varsity, um, we went 7-3, and three, had a real good season. Last year wasn't as good. And then this year, you know, we got a new football coach, um, changed the program quite a bit, and we'll see how the rest of this season plays out. So do you have aspirations of playing college football? Uh, I'm kind of undecided right now. I'm not really sure what I want to do. Now, if you do go on to play college football, do you believe that it's going to be a hard transition? Um, I have some friends who, you know, have went off and played college football and they said the college practices and three days and all that is quite a bit tougher than high school, so I feel it'll be pretty tough. Now when you do leave, are you going to miss your teammates? Yeah, I think I'll definitely miss my teammates a lot. I mean, it's more than just a team, it's kind of a family with, you know, everyone that's on this team. So. I think it'll be pretty tough. This is James Rose signing off with Bright House Varsity Sports with Hunter Frick. Hope you have a great game, Hunter. Thank you. Hi, my name is Claudia Fernandez, and we're going to be interviewing new teachers today at Spruce Creek High School. I love teaching here. This is my first year at Creek and first year teaching high school and it's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, so far I like it a lot. The students have been great. Uh, there's some really outstanding musicians here and they've been working hard and I've been enjoying teaching them. Well, it's a wonderful school. I've got uh, wonderful students and it's a great administration. Um, I thought after maybe 20 years I might do something else, maybe move to the college level, but you never know. I do love teaching so I'll probably always teach something. Well, I mean, you never know for sure, but uh, right now I, I, I've been really happy teaching at Creek, and I definitely see myself being here for a long time. Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, I'll be a teacher in high school or college uh, yeah, forever. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I have a, a really big passion for, for music, and uh, I love imparting that uh, with students, and, and when they succeed at music, it, it brings me a lot of enjoyment. I, I've been a teacher for probably 20 years. This is my first year at Creek, and I've had a, uh, a wonderful time. Well, there you go, folks. Those are the new teachers at Spruce Creek High School. I'll see you later. Those are some great interviews. Thanks for that, guys. So now we're going to move on to all the events that are happening here at Creek. I'm sure you've heard a lot about them going around, such as Tarzan with the Black Hawk Inn and all that other stuff. We're going to give you the inside scoop. I'm Brandon Carrington, here from Hawk News to go behind the scenes of the new Tarzan musical with you. Let's get a closer look at this African rainforest adventure. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Bell. Mr. Bell, what was your inspiration for doing this? Well, I was at a theater conference and we were actually asked to pilot a production of it and be one of the first groups to actually produce it to help them develop the script. But as it turned out, the script and the materials weren't going to be ready till about halfway through last year, so we were unable to schedule that. But I really liked the script, I really liked the score and the music by Phil Collins and thought we really should do this anyway. So we decided to go for it. How is it turning out so far? Good. I have a really, really talented cast, and the amazing thing is um, a lot of them had never sang in front of people before, and they have these really amazing, beautiful voices. So I was really shocked and surprised, and um, you'll get to see how talented they are. 
Well, it's going to be an exciting filming session. I'm here with Tarzan and Jane. So why'd you guys choose these parts? Uh, I didn't really choose it. I was cast as it. But I went for it because go big or go home, right? And well, what about you? Uh, the same thing. I was just cast as the role. Um, but I did audition for Jane. I just She's a really delicate person and I love her accent. So I thought it'd be fun. Can you make her accent? Oh goodness. Um, <laughs> well, if you were to ask me a question, I guess I could talk however you wanted her to. That was actually kind of good. Uh, I couldn't do that. So, uh, will you do a Tarzan yell for us? That's the big question. I want to. I really do. But I feel like if I do it now for Scam, then people won't come see the show. So, you're going to have to come see the show if you want to hear the Tarzan yell. I'm sorry. Well, that's a bummer. Well, thanks, you guys. We'll be uh, getting footage of you guys rehearsing and performing, and this will be fun. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Julia Safradiana. And who do you play in this? I play Kala's understudy, who in um, Kala, if for anybody that doesn't know, is Tarzan's ape mother. Did you try out for this part? Yes, I did. And why did you try out for this part? Because Kala seems to have the most depth of all the characters. Well, at least that's my opinion. Is it fun doing all the rehearsals and stuff so far? Oh yeah, I love it. We have a lot of rehearsals. Um, like. Well, not a lot, but a good amount of rehearsals. And, but I love every minute of it. Sounds like a lot of fun. So hi, what's your name? Uh, I'm Preston Rasmussen. And what do you do? I'm the stage manager for Tarzan. So what does that mean you do exactly? Uh, I'm kind of like the director's assistant. I write down all the blocking in the book. I make sure everything gets on stage. I make sure people show up to rehearsals and I kind of try and keep thing or things organized and the director is like the creative designer. Well, what's the most exciting part about that? Uh, I really like having things work out where you mark everything on the stage and you have everything in your book and you kind of like know the blocking and stuff. It's pretty cool. What's the most frustrating part? Uh, people not showing up to rehearsal. Does that happen a lot? Yeah. Oh. It's getting better. Well, that sure was exciting. This is Brianna Carrington signing out. Hope to see you at the show in January. Hi, I'm Brianna Breslin, Hawk News TV, and I'm here at the Enchanted Forest of Reed Canal Park. Can't wait to see what magic they have in store for us. Let's go take a look. I'm here with the Vice President of the Drama Club, Aubrey Ozaborski. How long have you been in Drama Club? For four years. What's your favorite part of performing? My favorite part of performing would be creating something that audiences can laugh at together or cry at together and just seeing their reactions. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the Enchanted Forest. I certainly can. The Enchanted Forest has been here approximately 24, 26 years. It is one of the things that our South Daytona children love. It's always sold out. We always have parents coming back with their children now. And this is our hot dog wagon. And since we are Citizens Alert, we sell hot dogs and we have a good time. And it's fabulous. All the kids love it. Even the old kids like me. <laughs> How did you hear about the Enchanted Forest? Um, I heard about it from, I am actually organizer of a mom's group in Volusia County. And it was a recommendation from some of the moms in our group. Is it your first time coming tonight? Yeah, but this is our first time. Are you excited about the Enchanted Forest tonight? Yes. your setup? I'd love to. 
This right here is our food trailer, and this is, uh, we're raising money uh, that we give back to the community. This is, we're actually selling chances to win the trailer, the food, and the grill. They're $2 a ticket or six tickets for $10. We're gonna have the drawing December 7th. You don't have to be present to win, but all of the money that we raise is given back out into our community. This event, for about six years, our Rotary Club and your Interact Club is actually volunteering. We're driving the trucks, and your Interact Group is actually narrating um, the events that are taking place. It has truly been enchanting. I'm Brianne Breslin, Hawk News Live, signing out. Hello, I'm Varsity Reporter Claudia Fernandez, and today we'll be checking out the Hawk of the Month Luncheon. It was a great Hawk of the Month Luncheon today. We're fun to do this every month to recognize the faculty and staff and students uh, that the teachers recognize uh, and to have this opportunity. And the, the Culinary Arts Department makes, always makes a wonderful meal. Today it was a Halloween theme, but it was, it was excellent. Do you guys do this every month? We do. We have a Hawk of the Month luncheon every month, and it's catered by the Culinary Arts Department. Different students are the chef for that particular month and develop their own theme for the meal. Congratulations to all the Hawks of the Month. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a great day to be a Hawk. <laughs> where all of the food for the Black Hawk Inn will be prepared. I like being the head chef here. It's stressful, but it's pretty fun, interesting experience to cook and take control of the whole day. Do you want to be um, a professional chef when you grow up? Yes, I want to be a pastry chef. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> does the Black Hawk Inn do? The Black Hawk Inn is a student-operated restaurant in which the objective is that the students get um, experience and hopefully a, a pretty good diverse opportunity to experience the different workstations in a restaurant. We um, have been operating essentially since 1985 when I first came to Spruce Creek High School. And the students, uh, some of them definitely are geared towards culinary, going the hospitality right, uh, the route. And some of the, I think some of the students come into the program oftentimes not knowing what they got into. Because we are a career-filled program. Uh, and where some schools have an academy, ours is simply identified as a career field. And hopefully by the time they graduate, they will either know that they love it or they'll know that they don't want to do it. Because it is a lot of work. Thanks everyone for tuning in to the third edition of Spruce Creek AM. We hope to see you next time for the fourth edition. See you there.